All right, this is cabin 12209. It's a forward facing extended balcony on Carnival Mardi Gras. Here are your storage areas right there. You'll see there's plenty of storage space. Those shelves, you can rise or low, raise or lower them. There's magnetic hooks behind, depending on whether you want more hanging space or more storage, you know, shelving space. Um, and you'll see as we try and open this door here, you'll have four of these. And the one that I did not open will have the safe in it. Couldn't get into it because the door was jammed. They were still finishing up cleaning. But there is a safe in that one, I promise you. Four USB outlets and three US power outlets for you there. And there's some extra drawers here. There's a laundry bag. This one should have its hairdryer. Yep, there we go, a hairdryer. And one more underneath. There is your fridge. Now be aware these Ottoman seats there typically have some extra storage space inside. I forgot to video on this one. And there is a sofa. And here you have two, this set up for two twin beds. So you'll see there's a USB power point on either side with a night light. And you've got your shelves to put your phone or your glasses on overnight, which is really helpful. Nice design thought. And then here is your balcony. You notice as you come out, there's a windbreaker right there because we are at the front of the ship. So this is to avoid any winds you may be heading into. Sometimes it's a bit of a challenge to get these doors open because they put child likes on them and all that good stuff. So sometimes I just give up and take video from the outside because they do sometimes lock them before we leave. But you see there, there's two. Oh, are we going to get out? Yes, we made it out. So you've got a couple of chairs there. There's a chaise lounge. And there's your view. There's the crew deck, which is where that gap was right down there. And these are some of the larger cabins off to the side. Some of the more suites. Now I did a video on cabin 17202, which is very close to this. And uh, I think the balcony was larger on that one. Take a look at my video on that. I think you'll see it's larger, 17202. But again, this is the actual cabin itself. There is a nightlight there, but no USB port typically on those ones by the sofa, some hanging space right there. And then this is your bathroom. It's always important, I say this in every one of these cabins, note that the shower doors open inwards. So half is in the shower, half is in the bathroom. So two people can be a bit tight in these rooms. There's a footrest for the ladies there. Uh, and then the, you've got your shampoo and gel. They don't have conditioner. So there you go, that's cabin seven, so 12209, a forward view extended balcony, 205 square feet, 71 square foot balcony, so a total of 276 square feet. And you'll see the two twin beds that convert to a king. Now that sofa looked like a sofa bed to me because normally that handle is a sofa bed, but this says there is not a sofa bed, just a sofa. So that might be something you might want to check, but there's all the other information you can read about the cabin. And the uh, balcony partition opens to either side. So if you know people in the cabins next to you, you can share one big balcony. So uh, go for all that good stuff that's in there. And then where is it? Well, there you are. It's right next to the suite just there. But again, I really think the 12202 had a larger balcony. It kind of shows there as well. Any questions? Email me anytime. Cruisingsuitguy at gmail.com. I promise I'll reply as soon as possible. Want to book a cruise or any type of travel? We are travel agents. Check out our site, EliteTravelConnection.com or email me, Mick at EliteTravelConnection.com. We are here for you. Finally, subscribe, please. Pretty please. You know you want to. Go on. I won't beg you. Okay, I'm begging. Please. Subscribe. Thank you.